Light snow showers blanketed the state line, made some interesting sights around our area. Thanks to all of our viewers that sent in lots of photos of the ongoings with that snowfall. Here's a cross country meet around Oregon by Candace Quinn and uh, definitely made for an epic looking meet as a result of all that snow floating on down. Uh, this is from the Seward Bluffs Forest Preserve by uh, Vicki Busker, uh, showing off not only just the snow, but also the fall colors kind of popping against uh, the white snow across the state line. And this is by Aaron uh, showing off the orchid uh, hanging out on the inside and staying warm with all of that snow and brisk weather on the outside. And we'll continue to see a uh, little activity uh, moving forward uh, for uh, just the next hour or so. There's some flurries out there, but then the rest of the night looking dry. Uh, about a trace recorded at the Rockford Airport. Uh, so just some flurry activity, really no measurable accumulation. Uh, earliest first trace uh, was October 3rd. So this is definitely not the earliest we've seen some flakes across the state line. Earliest accumulation, October 12th, over a century ago in 1909, so October. Uh, not a stranger to seeing snow like this, but it's usually fewer and far in between. Snow entered the picture at about noon, left at about 5, and since then we've seen mainly dry conditions outside of again a little flurry activity popping up from time to time. The rest of the night should trend to drier with mainly cloudy conditions. Watch out for some icy spots here and there around the state line. You can see temperatures down to around freezing and they've been hovering at that level the last several hours west of I-39. So Freeport, you could have some icy patches in the morning. Rest of the state line above freezing. We managed to stay above freezing throughout the day. So uh, just expecting to see dry roads going into the morning. Mainly cloudy tonight, down to around 32, so definitely a brisk start to tomorrow. But by the afternoon, uh, warming up back to more fall-like levels in the low 50s under a mainly cloudy sky. Then we kick off our rainy pattern for the rest of the week. Starting Tuesday evening and going into Friday, we see nearly daily chances for rainfall. We'll see some light rain shower activity tomorrow night. Scattered showers and thunderstorms going into Thursday morning. Then more showers and storms Friday afternoon. Here's future track to highlight what's ahead. Uh, Tuesday starts out dry with mainly cloudy conditions. We get into tomorrow evening, spotty rainfall approaching. We'll continue to have spotty light rainfall through about 10 o'clock. After that, the weather dries out for a while, so much of Wednesday looking dry and somewhat cloudy. We get into Wednesday night. That's when those showers and thunderstorms enter the picture again, starting out light. But you notice after midnight, getting some more downpours in the mix. And we'll continue to have on and off thunderstorms then going into Thursday morning. That'll stick around until about the middle of the morning. Then we dry out from there will continue to be dry and even somewhat sunny going into the afternoon before more rain returns on Friday. Look what happens with the temperatures by Thursday because of those uh, thunderstorms coming in with a warm front. We're up to the 70s for highs. So one last little hurrah here with the warm weather. We drop quickly again. We're back down into the 40s by the time we head into the weekend. More rainfall possible Sunday and Monday. And in your most accurate 10 day forecasts, we eventually settle down temperature wise after a huge rise this week and then a drop. We settle into the 40s next week. James and Kristen at 73 looks pretty good though. Alex, thanks. Getting